Hey guys, welcome back, Bolt Spider here, and today we have another how to deck build video. So let's get right into it and let's see what we roll out. We I hope we roll good today, but we'll see on that. So we get Infernoids. Infernoids is a interesting deck, in my opinion, because there's so many ways that you can run it. But let's get right into it. So for Infernoid, we have many different options that we can run. But the main option we're going to run today is going to be the Lair of Darkness, Infernoids. And I don't want Infernity, I want Infernoid. <laughs> too many decks with the same close name. So what we're going to need for Infernoids is two Onuku, two Deviati, the one Saisamas, the one Sajet because you need it, the double Patrulia, the one Hamadek and the one Antra, and the triple Decatron, along with one Primus. We're going to need three of Tiara, which is one of the main points of the deck, triple Void Imagination, triple Void Vanishment, and then for the trap, one Void Feast. Now, for the rest of the cards, what do we put? So, Psy Frame, the one Gamma. The tr no, the triple gamma, the one driver, and the one omega, because this is very, very key for the deck. And also, we can run the lone lambda for later. Now, other than that, what other cards do we fill? So, we have Starving Venom, Fusion Dragon. We also have Natis, because we get to send stuff off of our tiara, if we can. Then we have Muddy Mud, or Mud Dragon of the Swamp. Not Muddy Mud Dragon. Then after that, we have other things like Zeroboros, because this gains attack out like crazy. Crusadia Equimax, because we could easily F uh, OTK with this. And then we have the Nightmares being one Cerebus, one Phoenix. Gravity Controller, because Gravity Control is good. And the one Anima, because Anima is such a great card for the deck. Afterwards, we have... Other things like Lightning Storm, one of the one of the best back row monster removal in the game, but we're only gonna main two. After that, we have Monster Gates because Monster Gates pretty good, along with Re Reasoning. So we have the four, and then we have Pot of Prosperity because we want to dig into our deck. If I can find it, Pot of. We want to dig into our deck as much as we can, so that's one thing to definitely take a note on. Uh, terraforming, because terraforming is great since we're going to be running Lair of Darkness. Lair of Darkness is a staple for the deck, along with the one Metaverse, if need be. And finally, for the last card, Super Poly, one of, as we're going to decide the other two. So this is the deck, and let's get right into the test hand. Now, this is more going second deck, as it affects your opponent's graveyard, which... I wish we can have a specific deck that we want to go against, but I guess we'll just go with what we can. So this hand doesn't look like much. We can use this, use Void Vanishment, activating the effect discarding Deviati, and this grabs our Void Feast. And that's all she pretty much wrote. We can activate our Lair of Darkness, setting the Void Feast, and then I'm trying to think what else we could do. Uh, we can activate Void Imagination, I believe, and then just wait. And we could have just kept that in hand, but then end phase hits, Lair of Darkness, mandatory triggers, then draw phase, standby, main phase. We're going to activate the Void Feast, and what this is going to do, we're going to send the Imagination, summoning out Decatron, Decatron, and Sajet. So Decatron summons, Decatron summons, and Sajet summons, so... We get both of the Decatron's effects. So chain one, chain two, we send a Deviati. And then the other one sends a Onuku. And then we resolve the Lair of Darkness. And passes the turn. And we're in a good place because we just drew into another Decatron. So we can normal summon this. Use its effect to send any of these Infernoids that we need. And I think we're gonna be sending something maybe like... The Setsaima. And since we control more than what we have, 
we can do some link plays. So one of the things we can go into is Zeroboros, but I don't think we're going to go into Zeroboros just yet, but we could definitely push for game if need be. So since these are all tuners, we're kind of just stuck here and we could just poke, poke and attack. So all these can attack and it's not that much, but at the end of the day, it is Infornite. Infornite, they are an interesting control deck as they tribute to banish stuff. Since you have Decatron being a foolish burial, you have Sajet being you tr when this card declares an attack, you can banish one monster from your opponent's extra deck. But once per turn, during you play his turn, tribute one monster, then target one card in your opponent's graveyard, banish it. They all share that. So if you could do that, that's why it interacts with your opponent. That's where it comes in so much handy. And you can act, you can get your Void Bat Imagination, use its effect, and you get the Fusion Summon using Tiara. One, two. And you could just summon out Tiara if you have the plays to do. So, because with Tiara, three or more, each player sends three cards from their extra deck to the graveyard. Five or more, each player sends the top three cards. Eight or more, banishes the three cards from the graveyard. Or ten And ten or more, each player sends their entire hand to the graveyard. So, in this case, you're helping yourself while also hurting your opponent by them losing three monsters you getting three monsters in the graveyard to interrupt more stuff and all of that but infernoids is an interesting concept deck and i definitely enjoy it but i don't like going against it but anyways i've been bolt spider i hope you guys did enjoy and see you guys in the next video